Hi friends, my name is Kamal and in this video we'll see how to integrate TeamCity with the robot framework. So first of all we go to official website of uh, TeamCity and we download it. You need to download uh, a software of around 1 GB. So it'll take some time. So you see now uh, the download is almost over. Now uh, the download is complete and it is time to install it. So we go to next, we agree all these things. We specify the directory where we want to install and it will uh, start installing it. Installation also uh, is going to take some time. So once the installation is complete, you need to specify on which port you want to run it. Better you do not put a default 80 or 8080 port. You choose something else like 9900 or something like that. Uh, so that uh, you do not uh, interfere with uh, uh, other applications which are using the ports like 80 and 8080. So once you do it, uh, you need to uh, choose uh, one out of uh, these options whether you want to go with your system user or the actual user and whether you want to install it as a service or not. So I'm uh, doing the installation. Now uh, the installation is done and it is uh, going to start TeamCity on my local host port, whatever I have specified over there. It also takes some time to start. Uh, and for the first time, you need to do some configurations. You need to specify the directory where you put uh, the content. You need to select the database type which you want to use. Currently, you are not going to use anything. So you just leave as it is uh, the internal database and then uh, initialize the components. After once you do this, uh, you need to agree the agreement that they have. You just need to click over there at the end. And then you need to create your user. So create a user and uh, create a, a password here. So for now I am setting my user and password both as Kamal. Now my account is created. So this is the first screen of uh, Team City. Now you can put some general uh, information over here uh, like your name, your email address, and if you want to change your password, you can put your current and new passwords. There is also a Team City uh, tool uh, for window tray icon. That is also a very good uh, uh, tool to install. You can install if you want. So once you are done with this, you see here uh, we have build queue, we have agent, we have changes. Right now there is no build in queue. We have one default agent. But for any project that you want to create, we need to go to project. So we are going to create one project here. We are uh, setting the name as robot test. Okay, so robot and uh, robot test. You give your description here that this project is just to run your test cases through robot. Once you do this, uh, you see uh, like this and then you save it. And the next step is to uh, set up your build configuration. So you go to configuration here on the left panel, uh, you see parent project name, uh, uh, build a configuration ID. You put it, uh, put all the information here. Also, if you go here uh, in the configuration part, you have different options like general settings, version control system, and the third option is uh, your build step. Now, that is the pa important part where you are going to say that uh, you want to uh, run through command line or any other option like Ant, Maven, whatever, or Gradle for iOS. Uh, you want to execute something. You want to do a build step. Okay, so you have chosen command line here. You give the step name and run your, uh, put your uh, custom script uh, in the text box here. 
so my uh, script is i want to first go to this directory which is having my test suit change directory and the directory path and then uh, i'll use robot executor robot ts one dot txt or robot if you are not aware of uh, robot uh, executor or pybot executor uh, you can watch uh, the video which is uh, whose link is on the top here and uh, get to know about uh, it in more detail now you run your test case uh, from here and uh, you can see it is going to use this executor and if you go to executor build history you will get to see all the runs that you have taken okay so i have taken some uh, previous runs which failed but uh, this run has succeeded so that's why i see a message success and if you want to see a detailed report of your robot uh, test cases you go to robot framework uh, directory there you will find uh, uh, the log and uh, report html so we ran our test case again and uh, it again passed we are going back to uh, the directory it generated uh, the report output xml and in some time it is going to generate log html we open the test case the test case only has one step which is opening the browser it has actually opened the browser but you could not see the browser because it runs uh, that process in background so if you want to see that browser in foreground you need to do uh, a setting in services you need to go to services and uh, disable the agent service from there and instead uh, you need to start that service from command line through this command you go to the team city folder build agent directory and in the bin you can uh, do agent.bat.start a uh, space start so it will start the agent so now uh, you have ran your agent again with command line so you need to log in again and uh, i will run the test case again to show you that this time it is going to open uh, the browser uh, interactive you will be able to see the browser opening so the test case is running and soon uh, you will see the browser opening google.com and here it is so that's all about uh, team city integration with robot framework if you want to see more such tutorials please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and also do not forget to comment on the video thank you